Hello everybody, good afternoon, welcome back to the channel, if you are returning, welcome back, and if this is your first time here, happy first time. Butterfly Square Garden is, uh, we do everything here, we do plants, we do drawing, art stuff, you know, green stuff, nature -y stuff, so <coughs> today we're going to be drawing, figure drawing, and... We're still practicing the skull, so uh, that's always a good place to start. Um, are you wearing a mask uh, when you go outside? Because it's still a pandemic, everybody, and I'm going to put that in the video. Always gotta put that in, and you know. Yep. So we're gonna be drawing today, and I have some colored pencils because. In the last video I said I would uh, start using color because that's fun to do. Mm, itchy nose, itchy. <coughs> so yeah. If you are new to drawing, um, or not, uh, <coughs> it's always good to review. And I like to mention drawing on the right side of the brain as a point of reference. It's kind of like my holy bible of drawing. And basically teaches you that drawing is a global skill that um yeah let's see i need to emphasize a further point um do you need to read this with me yeah, you might as well i like to show you guys what i do it is a classroom don't you know um focus 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 i tried to get the light a little better um let's start over here so, um, she was, uh, the author was working with neurologists, and they're like, what's going on? So, um, global skills like reading, driving, skiing, walking, drawing, are made up of component skills that have to be, uh, integrated, um, into the whole skill. So, once you've learned all the skills, separately then you put them together and then you get the whole skill which is what drawing is so drawing is a little bit like juggling because you need to do a couple different things at the same time and what are those things uh there's five of them really there's four but i'll read it to you right we'll go through it together so very important the global skill of drawing, a perceived object, person, landscape, anything you see out there, requires only five basic component skills, and no more. And one, perception of edges. Two, the perception of spaces. Three is perception of relationships. Four is the perception of lights and shadows. And five is the perception of the whole, which, yeah. You can see over here in this little circle how you start with one and then you add in the next one and they build upon each other because, uh, you know, you're doing it all at the same time. So, let's see. In order to attain this smooth integration of skills in drawing, all five skills must be in place. So I'm happy to say that the fifth skill... Um, is neither taught nor learned, it instead comes naturally by uh, acquiring the first four skills. So that's, again, you only really need to do four things to worry about, and it's not even a, uh, a drawing skill, the perceptional skills. So we're really f refining the way we look at stuff. And how would you do that? Um, do, 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 do. I'm skipping the boring stuff because uh, if you really want me to read more, I've done a lot of reading from these books in the past videos. Um, <coughs> so if you're new to brain science, there's like different parts of the brain do different things. And our day to day consciousness is mostly what people say like left brained. Um, yeah, let's see. Just real quick, uh, you have two brains, a left and a right. Modern brain scientists now know that your left brain is your verbal and rational brain, so it thinks serially and reduces its thoughts to numbers, letters, words. Um, and your right brain is more nonverbal and intuitive, and it thinks in patterns or pictures 
Yep, you can think in pictures for anyone who only thinks in words. Um, and it thinks in patterns, pictures, composed of whole things, and does not comprehend reductions. So that's interesting. So that's how you, you get a, a drawing that looks like really complete. You'll notice the difference. Um, so yeah, it doesn't understand numbers, letters, or words. So, <clears throat> yep. Just uh, finishing up real quick, and then we'll get into the drawing. Um, but we've got to do this. Uh, it's important. So um, we need to do the right brain drawing. And, and the left brain is usually how people start out. <coughs> In order to gain access to the subdominant visual perceptual R mode of the brain, it is necessary to present the brain with a job that the verbal analytic L mode will turn down, um, which really happens in like 30 seconds of frustration. Um, <laughs> the, the, the left brain gives up. It goes, here you go, take over our right brain. And the right brain is like, okay, finally, this is what I'm good at. Um, and then it's just like, you don't even think about it. You just draw like, like like ref like a reflection um yeah like a camera or, a, or just a mirror um so the exercises in this book um are based on two things um to give the the reader the five skills that we mentioned and provide conditions that facilitate making the shift to the r mode um the specialized thinking seeing mode specialized for drawing. So, in short, the process of learning to draw, one also learns to control, at least to some degree, the mode by which one's own brain handles information. So, um, isn't that exciting? It's like when someone will be like, how did you draw a nose? I can't draw a nose. And you're like, I just did it because I my brain can interpret the information differently. This is the what people's after five days of exercise like the exercises in this book, the people go from drawing like this portrait to this self portrait. And you know, you can see like stinky poopy drawing <laughs> and like, you know, pretty good drawings. Like I bet if I was looking at the person with their drawing in their hands, I would be like able to pick them out. Um from, you know, like a warthog or some, <laughs> something <laughs> different. A five-year-old's drawing. Um, so yeah, you can express yourself non-verbally. So if there's anything that's bothering you that you don't really feel like you can put to words, like try drawing it. Um, it was so important when I was working with my kids. I was uh, a teaching artist and we did a lot of drawing together. Um, <clears throat> and this is the exercise, one of the exercises that got me the job. Um, so this is um, the face and vase exercise for the double brain. And if you want, um, do, 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 do. it's just designed to help you understand the shift from left to right. And if you want to get good at drawing, you need to be on that side of the brain. And you can practice for a 100 hours on the left brain drawing, and it'll come out stinky poopy. And you can draw for five minutes um, on the right side of the brain and come up with, like, a magnificent, amazing thing. Um, so it's it's quite stark difference. I don't know. Is that a word? Um, so here's the exercise. We're going to draw one side. And then, so if you're left-handers, you do the right first. And if you're right-handed, you do the left first. So I'm going to do it with you guys. Um, <coughs> what they want you to do is to draw one side. And then on, when you're doing the other side, um, Try labeling it like chin, lips, nose, forehead, eyes, whatever you want. Um, but like really think about it while you're doing it. Um, so let's do it real quick together. What color should we use? I choose blue. It was just the first one. Um, I tried to get the light as bright as I could, but it's, it's kind of a rainy day. Um, so I'm going to use the actual face vase. 
um, as a ref, who, how am I going to do this? Um, instead of editing this out, I just like watching this part <laughs> later. Um, it's a learning experience, like honestly. As much as I want to have like a million good videos, it's more important to me that I teach you guys how to draw. And again, how do you learn how to draw? It's really not even by drawing. I mean, yes, you do by drawing a lot, but um, you ha you like my curls, so I'm kind of obsessed with them. Uh, they're distracting. So, yeah. Um, it's important to practice, but it's important to practice the right way, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and it's, it's important to really become familiar with the way to draw on the right side of the brain, F, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so let's do the exercise without too much talking. So I'm looking at the vase, and I'm starting on one side, because um, I'm right-handed, so I'm starting over here. Um, how do I like to do it? Without thinking too hard. Can you see? Yeah, or where, 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 where. All right, so I'm doing the first side, and I'm just drawing kind of. What I see, uh, I'm really going fast though, jeez. All right, so um, you barely got to see me do that. I'll try to be better about it, you know, thinking of you guys. So now um, we're going to do the other side, and like we just discussed, we're going to label them out loud. So, you know, chin, lips, nose you know, bridge, eye, uh, forehead, and then it comes back out. Ta-da! Uh, mine is kind of wiggly. If I were to fill it in, it's a little... Ooh, I filled it in as a vase. I almost always um, fill in the faces, so isn't that funny? You guys get to see a little different thing in my video this time. Did I even tell you my name? My name's Jason. On Instagram, I go by Green Valley, but uh, Butterfly Square Garden is the name of my, uh, you know, YouTube, um, because I was showing you guys my butterflies, which I still have. They're right over there. And I have caterpillars right over here, too. So maybe I'll do a video of that. Um, is it perfect? No. Um, if I were to go over it in red, obviously, like, you know, there's different ways. Um, what am I even trying to do here? <laughs> there's different ways um, that your brain tries to solve the problem. I don't really know. I don't have to go over this. Um, it's important for me to explain why we did this. So... Um, the book tells you the steps, which I just really quickly blabbed and told you what we were doing. Um, but I'm going to tell you why we did this exercise. Um, and I hope if you did it, you, if not, try doing it now, but you'll understand why now. So nearly all of my students experience some confusion or conflict while doing this exercise. Ooh, I tricked you. Did I tell you that was going to happen? Um, a few people experience a great deal of conflict or even a moment of paralysis. So I hope you tried that exercise. Um, if not, try it now. Um, but I'm giving away, you know, the secret over here. Um, so if this happened to you, you may have come to a point where you needed to change direction in the drawing, but didn't know which way to go, and the conflict may have been so great that you could not make your hand move the pencil to the right or the left. Oh my god, this is so thrilling. Um, so that is the purpose of this exercise, to create conflict so that each person can experience in their own minds, sorry if I'm reading fast, the mental crunch that can occur when instructions are inappropriate to the tax task at hand. I believe that the conflict can be explained as follows. I gave you instructions that strongly plugged in the verbal system of the brain. So that's left brain. Remember that I insisted that you name each part. Um, and I said, now really think what those terms mean. So 
the the task of of saying it out loud confused the brain. Um, so that's what you're not supposed to be doing. Um, how did you solve the problem? And it just talks about like different ways that you can do it. You know, some people do grids. Some people do the bottom side of the top. Some people, you know, what shift the face from the vase focus and blah blah blah. So, um, did you use your eraser? I guess it says you can use your eraser. It doesn't really matter. Um, but to sum up the point is it's seemingly simple in order to draw a perceived object or person, something that you see with your eyes. You must make a mental shift to the brain mode um, that is specialized for this visual perceptual task. So, you are using the right brain when you do it because you're gauging like, oops, you're trying to, f trying to f figure out where it is in space, and that's like a right brain thing to do. Um, <coughs> but yeah, this mental crunch means that you're on the right track. And I feel like that is what scares a lot of people, because the left brain hates drawing, but the right brain loves drawing. So everyone can experience drawing as like a really wonderful experience. Um, it's like a really magical thing. I always tell, I would talk to my kids and be like, so think of your favorite cartoon, your favorite show, your favorite comic book, anything. Um, how do you feel when it does and it make you happy? Like the artist feels that way when they're creating the content. And that's why you like it because that resonates with you. Um, so drawing is supposed to feel good. It's supposed to be me meditative. It's good for mental health. It's good for calming down anxiety because the right brain doesn't care about any of this stuff. That's all left brain stuff. So if the day-to-day -day grind is getting to you, take five minutes to draw something. Um, they talk about upside-down drawing. That was a really fun one I would get, you know, I would do printouts of Pokemon and like Dragon Ball Z and Nintendo, all of my favorite things. And I would turn it upside down and I would have the kids draw it. Um, and they came out really good. And then for the final share, we did an art gallery and all the parents got to see it. And that was really fun. So you can see, look at these drawings. Um, th this is like an adult, like a doctor who this is, it took them like 20 minutes to draw that. Um, so anyone who can read and write should know how to draw. That's what I, I believe. Like if a, an adult didn't know how to read or write, you'd be like, what? You're like severely disadvantaged in life. Um, and that's how I feel um, drawing is. Um, if you want to do, here's like, this is the last one and then we'll move on to actual um practicing anatomy. And I'm going to learn how to embed the video so that... Uh, you can just skip ahead to the actual drawing if you want, but um, if you're new to drawing or not, like these exercises are very important to do. Um, this is called pure pure contour drawing, um, and the edges is is what we're practicing right now. So this is the first step. So if you want to really focus on the fact that we are practicing, it's we're learning edges. Um, so this guy over here is looking at the wrinkles in his hands, but he's not looking at himself drawing. Um, so my face was, it came out pretty good, um, considering the fact that <laughs> it's supposed to come out bad, because um, I was talking the whole time. Yep, perks of being an art teacher. Um, so this guy does pure contour drawing where he's looking at the wrinkles in his hand and he sets the timer for five minutes. And then, and then he just, he just I'm going to draw it like right here. This is me doing a sped up version. So he like, with basically one line, um, you know, he draws all of the wrinkles in his hand. And I'm talking about like the tiny, tiny wrinkles. Like your whole hand is made up of wrinkle after wrinkle after wrinkle. Um, you can look at your fingertips. Uh, you can always go smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, but yeah, that's what the drawing looks like. And then in the book, it shows you, 
Um, you know, this is the author's drawings, basically. Um, do, 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 more scribbles. Um, more scribbles. So the left brain is like, I hate this. Um, they're scribbles. Like, I don't, I know what a wrinkle is. Like, why are you making me draw this? Um, so you could experience the crunch. You can experience the desire to want to stop. Um, but if you just keep going, um, the left brain will, will pe cross over to the right brain. And then um, it's almost like if, if, if you've ever gone for a run um, and you've like tranced out um, or if you're driving and you like realize that you've been driving for 30 minutes and, and haven't really even been self-conscious or like aware of the fact that you've been driving you know what i'm talking about like there are so many different examples it happens during yoga it happens like when you're listening to music like this senseless time um when you're in the flow sports it happens during sports um that's the feeling of of like a good draw sesh um gesture drawing is a good way to practice that you know just really light sweeping things um so we went through the exercises of drawing on the right side of the brain now we're going to go into um do, 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 my anatomy book um once for either my birthday or for christmas someone gave me a barnes and noble gift card and it was my favorite gift because i went to the Barnes and Nobles that my friends would hang out with and um, I bought this book and it was really expensive and I would have never asked for anyone to buy it for me but um, I was a little rebel and I bought an expensive book for myself ho 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 and then um, that was it was only like I don't know it was how much was this I don't know probably like 50 60 bucks 30 bucks 60 bucks I don't know it was expensive um, I love figure drawing. I love naked people. <laughs> um, good drawing of a skeleton. Do, 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 do. Where do we want to start? We want to start with the skull. So, it's been a while since I've drawn the skull, so I'm kind of going to do a little refresher course, but each time you practice something new, um, your brain gets better at doing it without like trying that hard so um that's good for that to happen um it can happen with typing too i've been practicing typing and you can go for like sentences and sentences without thinking and then you snap back into reality and you mess up um <laughs> Okay, so okay, I really so like I this really book. Like Don't you guys like this book? Drawing by the right side, uh, drawing on the right side of the brain by Betty Edwards. Um, yes. So, the bones of the cranium. There are eight bones that make up the cranium section of the skull. It is not in focus. You can't see what I'm doing at all. La 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 la. One second. So, it's just a, um, a terrible camera. What do I want to do? I'm going to do like this. It's called Blue Amazon. Come on. What a terrible name for a colored pencil. Red? What the heck? I need something like Azul. This one's Cobalt Blue. Really blue. I just like... Ultramarine, that's good. I c all right. Prussian blue, purple, magenta, violet, lilac. Okay. I really like colors. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> so there's eight bones in the skull. And how do we want to practice drawing that? Um, should we just go for it and do the big one over here? No, I don't really want to. Um, I'm going to go for drawing this guy. Do, 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 do. Um, I don't really remember. There's like this new rap song that came out um, by this young gay black rapper. I forget his name. I don't want to say something really wrong. 
um, Lil something, Lil Ness something, um, but this is not what I intended. Okay, that's that's okay. Um, you like my hourglass? I need some tea. I usually have tea during these videos. Also, my contacts bothering me. I'm not a robot, people. Um, being human's hard. You need to like do so much stuff. Um, yeah, it, I roll out of bed and it takes me like 30 minutes to like brush my teeth and put in my contacts and um, yeah, you have to drink water and you have to cook yourself food. So I'm starting out with like a circle because this guy is basically a circle and then it comes down like that. So um, as you can see, I'm drawing very, very lightly um, because I don't want uh, to commit to any kind of line that I'm not completely happy with. Um, <laughs> and here's kind of, ooh, you know what? Um, yeah, whatever, I'm just going to keep going. I skipped a spot and I thought that I was comfortable skipping it, but I don't know. Let's see what happens. Because I feel like I may have just felt the crossover. Do, 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 do. Nope, I have to go back. Um, do I? I don't really. <laughs> Am I talking to you or am I talking to myself? Um, I started drawing this, but I don't really like it. I because I want to draw this. That's what really well what I want to focus on right now. Um, I'm just gonna flip it. I do 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 do, and I also wanted to draw in red for some reason, so I'm gonna do that. So um. The frontal bone is number, it's numbered. We've got the frontal bone, which is the forehead. And then we've got the superior temporal line, which is um, this curvy. This curvy is the superior temporal line, um, which is connected to your eye socket and it goes up. Then we've got the superciliary arch. Um, that's right where I stopped because um, I didn't like where my eye socket holes were because my superciliary arch was out of place. Um, so that's what we're going to have to go back and do. Ooh, and the glabella. That's one of my favorites. Glabella. Right where my mono brow used to be. All the kids made fun of me. Do, 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 do. Um, and the nason. Nasion. I can never pronounce this. N A S I O N. So, Nasion. Nasion. Which is the root of the nose. Um, that's basically this thing. And this thing. So, that's what we're going to do today. My computer keeps going black. What's going on? Hey, hey. What do I do? Uh, I had to press the button. Space bar. Okay, so. Do, do, do. I want to draw this frontal bone. That's going to be our goal today. Um, and then we'll do more tomorrow. But, um, so I see like a C. Basically like a circle. But the bottom of the circle is cut off. So that's what I'm doing now. Do, 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 do. And it comes out a little bit on the sides. And now I'm basically splitting it up in half. And I see that it goes in and out and in again. So now I'm going to do that on both sides, except opposite. 
Um, and there's like some shadowy areas. It's kind of darker behind that thing that I just did. Shadow is one of the uh, the last things to worry about, but um, what can I say? I like to uh, go ahead sometimes. Do, 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 do. Do, oh, another good thing to do when you're drawing is to pick out where you want to start and finish. So I basically want it to be this tall. So that's where, you know, you don't want your, your drawing to be like floating randomly as you go. You just want it to be like in, in space. That's the whole name of the game is like, where is it in space? Um, so... The glabella is like right here. I love just saying that glabella, glabella, glabella. And then the s so this is the frontal bone. This whole big thing is frontal bone. And then two was the superior temporal line. That's what we do second. Third is the superciliary arch, <laughs> which is basically just this thing. Um, the glabella is here. Once I've drawn in the glabella, that's when I feel like I can finally put in the eye sockets. Because if I don't have the glabella in the right spot, then the eye sockets will be out of place and the root of the nose will be out of place. So it's really important to know your anatomy, everybody. It's important to know your anatomy. And how do you do that? Um, maybe I'm dumb, but I've had to do this like quite a few times. And I know that if you draw something, you, you learn it um, so much faster. But even having drawn it um, quite a few times, See, here's where I'm not happy. Okay, so the root of the nose is, I'm, I did this whole thing like way too low, which means either the eye sockets need to be bigger and this, yeah, the nose, the root of the nose is supposed to end like right here. So da 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 and it goes about halfway up. Da 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 da. Hope I'm sorry. I hope you can see kind of what I'm doing a little bit. I think I made my skull a little too long, but I mean it's just practice. It doesn't really matter what it looks like. I'm not gonna hang it on the wall. So I just want to get good at knowing the anatomy. <laughs> That's what I wanted, I came here to do. I mean, yes, I'm teaching you guys how to draw, but the reason I became a teacher, well, first of all, it was because Trump was elected president. And I'm like, that's it, I'm getting a job teaching children because I don't trust where this country is headed. Um, so three out of the four years so he was president, I was like teaching kids. Um, What? I'm like, how? Um, I think the timeline is weird in my head. Um, <laughs> I, I was teaching for three years, and Trump was president for like four. But then I was also working the clay pit. <laughs> I was working in restaurants. Um, I did that for like two years, which means I must have started working that job before Trump was elected, um, which is weird. That's not how I remember it. I remember it in totally opposite. So that basically looks like a skull. I'm not gonna go crazy, but that's a skull. Um, right, can't you see? That's clearly a skull. Um, 
So what were the thing I was focusing on the lines, you know, I was focusing on the edges. And once you spend a little time doing it, um, you start to understand where you need to put the dark spots. The glabella is just so beautiful. I love the glabella. I hope you can hear me. So, um, just to reiterate, Number one, frontal bone. Dang, I wish you could see that better. So two, superior temporal line. I'm writing it more for myself because I'm... I'm still, I mean, I'm learning it, but um, I'm not really retaining it as well as I wish I would be. Um, so three, okay, one, two, three. Superciliary arch, arc. Four, glabella. And five, root of nose, nason. <laughs> I put an N instead of a five. Five, nason, root of nose. <coughs> it's it's uh, this is drawing. <laughs> That's what I always say. Um, because I don't want to label and judge things. So I'll be like, it's a drawing. Um, let's move on. Oh, look, we did this literally like last time. To do, I think I like the one that we did today better. Look at that. I definitely like, I think I might have done that. I don't have a date. I should, oh. January, February. That was in February, I guess. Um, these are just some old drawings that we did. Now that we've done some drawing together, you can like actually see. You know, some of the work that I did. Man, it really stinks that I like can't show you guys my book. See, we've done we messed up that time that we did it. Um that's a that's a big mess up. I did it. We we did it better last this time. Um so as you can see I've done some Self-portraits, um, they're not very good because I only spend like a couple minutes. Um, there's seven cervical spine in the neck, seven cervical vertebra, cervical vertebra. So yeah, draw it, name it, do it over and over, and you will start to, ooh, mandible. I mean, I've, I've learned a lot of stuff. Um, I have retained a lot, I'm just saying like, if I were to be a doctor and name every bone in the body, like I can't do that right now, but I know we've got zygomatic arch. We, um, we learned all about the teeth that day. So we're going to learn together. Obviously I'm not perfect at drawing. Um, you may be better than me, may not be. We really don't need this. So we did some gesture drawings. Um, yeah, I feel like maybe I'll spend the last 20 minutes or so just... Ooh, I, I like this one. I always say I like that one. Um, because I was the right brain. Um, I was I was really enjoying drawing uh, my glasses because I usually struggle. So that time I enjoyed it. And it just turned out that um, if you enjoy yourself, um, chances are your drawing is going to be like much better. So, we'll do more anatomy next time. Um, it is important to just, you know, review. We have done almost all of the bones. Um, you know, mandible, zygomatic arch, zygomatic process. Um, there's different bones, temporal bone, occipital bone. I'm just saying this real quick. So I don't have to draw it. 
parotial bone, frontal bone, and then ethmoid bone is like behind the eye. Vomer bone is in the nose. Maxilla is like the upper jaw. Lacrimal bones behind the nose. Nasal bone is the nose. All right, so um, I don't know all of those, but we will be able to say all of those words um, while we're drawing without using the book. That is the goal. So I think I... Maybe by the end of the week, we if that if we're gonna set a goal, um, we're gonna know all the names of the bones by the end of the week, um, because there's eight bones. We just learned that um, in the skull, not including the teeth, because you're supposed to have 32 teeth. Um, but then after that, then we can get into the muscles, um, and then we can start getting into this the topical features, because once you know what's underneath then you know where to put everything it's going to be so easy for everyone like you're that that worrying like i don't know what to do when you're drawing you're just going to draw and you're going to be like not even remembering that that feeling um whatever thing just kidding it'll probably stick with you for life um so yeah let's just finish up class with a quick little drawing of our beautiful faces. I'm going to start with green right now. Um, gesture drawings are just like 30 seconds long. So I'm going to do like first a 10 second drawing. Do, 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 do. Ooh, I don't know if I like this color at all. Do, 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 do. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So you can't even see, um, but I just did a not so bad gesture drawing. I mean, let's do another one for like 30 seconds. So uh, this one's um, starting with the darkness of my hair. I want it to be about this big. And um, what do we learn? We learned that. I'm going to draw the glabella and the superciliary arch and the nasal. That means my nose is here. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Like, not to say that my drawings are bad, but I'm just really not as as fluid as I was after it, you know. If you draw for a week straight, you're gonna just gonna you're gonna see a huge improvement. Um I went to school for art but I like never really practiced. Um because I was always really self conscious and I didn't really know what I was doing. Lots of different reasons, but um that's really not important because anyone can start at any point. You really don't even need full functioning fingers. You could like do stippling. You can just, you know, with paints. That's what kids do. Um, because it's not even about any, I don't mean, it's really just about translating what you're seeing. Um, and you can do that with any medium. Like you can spill salt on the table and then use rearrange the salt into, that's what some artists do. I've seen artists use ketchup and um, chocolate syrup. I've seen artists use uh, an iron and burn corners of toast and then put that together into like a really good drawing. Um, so yeah. so yeah, you know, once yeah, you get good at drawing, then you can graduate to painting because like, the better you are at drawing, the better you are at painting. Um, anyone who draws can paint, but not anyone who can paint can draw. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't do, 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 do. You can use like, content crayons which is like somewhere in between paint and draw 
Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I used to just like draw on top of drawings because I like didn't want to take up too much space, but um, it really doesn't even. I mean, if you can afford to find some paper, you know, really. I think I'm eventually going to get like some sort of iPad or something so that I can just practice drawing on my tablet. Um, I would really enjoy that. So I think I might end up buying one soon. So drawing is kind of like you're putting together a puzzle and it's really fun because you don't really know what's going to go where yet um, but you know you're keeping in mind you know the goal there's like a whole shadow going across the side of my face starting from here usually it's reverse usually my far away eye is like really dark but the light's coming in from the window so um, okay so like this is the glabella this is the superciliary arch you know that's kind of where the eye socket would be which means my eye oh no I can't do that hold on so kind of like my nose is here Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of struggling <laughs> today, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. <laughs> um, some days I struggle more than other days. Um, but we did the exercises, and that was the important part. Um, that's what I came here to do. Um, instead of other activities, I decided that drawing is the best thing to do. And then after this, I'm going to play some cello because I've been practicing and I want to keep the skills that I've gained so far. <coughs> I still don't really like this one at all. Um, I don't know. Maybe I moved a lot. Um, this is all supposed to be like, I used to have a way bigger beard. My eyes are so baggy. Look at that. I'm kind of maybe I'm just like I'm really tired because <laughs> none of my drawing. Um, I'm gonna do one more. Do I really want to do one more? Yeah, why not? Just a couple features. Maybe I'll just do my eyes today. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So I'm starting with my glabella. <laughs> Supercillary arch and the nasal bone. Root of the nose. Um, so yeah. Um, if you're here with me still, like, drop a comment below. Tell me, I don't know, something funny that happened today. Or maybe something that you haven't been able to tell anyone else. Something that, you know you're comfortable saying on the internet. <laughs> um, <laughs> I really want to start developing like a community of drawers that are confident in the fact that, you know, we're learning and drawing is a process that it's like not necessarily important to like, wow, this is really bad. Um, when you pick when up you a, pick pencil, up a pencil, you're not really, I mean, maybe you will be, but the point isn't to, like, make a really amazing artwork. The point is to draw. <laughs> and the more that you draw for the sake of drawing, then all of that other stuff will just happen. Because, uh... What we've learned in the book, Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain, is drawing is a, a global skill like riding a bike, where once you learn how to ride a bike, you always know how to ride a bike. 
and it's not necessary to like continually being like okay so now you know I've been riding bike for 15 years and I'm still learning how to ride a bike it's it's like no once you can pedal without falling over then you can bike as long as you want and nothing ever really changes it's just you know you're pushing the pedals um, so when you ride a bike you push the pedals you move forward when you draw you put marks down and you move forward um, and the only difference is when like you're riding a bike at the end of the 10 miles maybe you can see the results in a long you know because ca your calf muscles might be like bulging after a month of riding a bike um, but you can't like see the progress but if you've been drawing for a month you're gonna be filling like a whole book um, and it's not like you're intentionally being like I'm trying to fill this book with all of the best drawings that are gonna be on the sis you know the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel it's just like people go for a run because they like to run people draw because they like to draw and it is a it is a wonderfully nice perk that the side effect of drawing is to have really awesome work that lasts forever you, you know it's not really going to disappear or anything um, so you can eventually have like a really large body of work and that's why it's important to you know eventually you can start picking out your favorite things and build a portfolio um, because after you have practice drawing and you know what you're doing then it will be possible to start having goals like okay you know maybe you want to do a fanfic maybe you want to do something um, but you'll be able to do it and that's kind of why I'm my goal is to draw really good portraits of anyone and if you can draw yourself then theoretically you can draw anyone else um, and I've spent a long time drawing myself and I was, was not getting good fast enough and it's because I skipped the basics so I'm going back to the anatomy and we're gonna learn all the names um, so maybe that's just how I want to finish class um, is by reading out loud again um, because um, if you know Buddhist monks are allowed to make chanting um, chanting makes stuff into reality so we're gonna start out by reading the five basic skills so this is how you learn how to draw if, if you remember what, what they are you know read them with me if you want to learn how to draw you need to learn the five basic skills of perception and then you can draw forever so one the perception of edges two the perception of spaces three the perception of relationships four the perception of lights and shadows and five the perception of the whole or the gestalt um, that's how you learn how to draw is by practicing those skills and then what's the other thing by switching over to the R mode so do some pure contour drawing do those wrinkles in your hand um, do the vase exercise um, temporal fossa that's temporal bone superior temporal temple line frontal bone orbit that's the eye socket um, nason that's the root of the nose nasal bone zygomatic bone that's your cheekbone and the zygomatic process is this whole thing um, that goes across your maxilla is the upper jaw bone and the mandible is the bottom jaw bone We've got the mental protuberance is your chin and the body of the mandible, the angle of the mandible. Fun fact, that is the second most common bone to break in your face other than 
Your eye socket. Um, like me. Like me. Right here. I broke my bone. Never broke a bone. You broke my jaw. I broke my jaw. Um, it's better now. But there's metal in there. Yep. Screws and the plate. Um, the ramus of the mandible is like the back part of it, I guess. And this is the mastoid process. So your little bumpies. External occipital protuberance. That's the back of the head. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's basically, we're at like an hour in, um, and I would show you the butterflies, so I don't really want to disturb them right now, um, yeah, so I would really like to see more of you guys, um, I always tell myself that I'm going to make such a short video and we always cap it at like an hour plus. But um, um, until anyone, until starts, anyone starts, starts responding, I'm going to have to keep practicing um, because yeah, it basically just means that uh, uh, there's room for improvement in my um, in my, uh, my classes. And you should have seen the first seen videos. The first videos like, like the camera was the best. Like, like cameras were messed up. Um, and the sound was off. I didn't even I found this in the basement like way later. But yeah, check out the uh, some butterfly videos and all that stuff, and I'll link, I'll link some fun things. Um, I've been meaning to learn how to embed, so I'll put a little skip arounds for people who want to skip around my video. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's not really a vlog. I always think that I'm going to talk about, like, worldly events, and then it always turns into, like only talking about drawing because there's so much to talk about um it's funny because the lesson is always going to be the same like look at what you're drawing and draw it uh that's really the lesson but then um yeah we've got lots of bones to learn we've got lots of muscles to learn and then by the end, like, you know, we'll be able to draw people like this. Like, these are real drawings by real people, and I'm sure it didn't take them forever. Like, these drawings were probably only minutes long. Um, oh, and then it's got a terminology reference guide in the back, so... Um, it's really important to know your stuff, guys. Like, you know, don't cut corners because you're just going to slow down your own process. Like, that's what I've learned is if you're not afraid to just, like, sink your teeth into the material, um, you will learn it eventually. Like, in this draw, uh, what am I trying to show you? Like, um, <coughs> when I first started, I didn't know... Um, ooh, this is going to be, um, I don't know all the rips yet. Um, I guess that's something that I need to improve on. Um, ooh, uh, I am supposed to do the, uh, the critique, but I guess I was critiquing the whole time. Um, yeah, usually I do critique, um, but it doesn't really matter. I just love looking at all the drawings in the book and it's just like so real, like, and I, I imagine that one day I'll be able to just have friends over and we'll just be able to f practice drawing each other. Um, I didn't know all the bones of the teeth, but I like know all of them now. Um, what was I talking about? Like, yeah, I just like, I didn't know all the, all the bones of the teeth, but I know them now. Um, so, and then, and I didn't like, I know that there's seven bones in the neck, like, I don't know. It's just like, it's so not scary anymore. Um, because I didn't, I mean, at first I, I totally cut corners, but then I went back and now that I'm just like, I know that that's the temporal bone. I just, it's, 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 I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm just rambling. Um, If you practice drawing a hundred eyes, you're going to be able to confidently draw an eye. Theoretically, because I've drawn hundreds of eyes and they still don't even always look good. Um, so that's why it's important to just really know that you've crossed over. 
Um, yeah, so I guess that's it for today. Um, we're going to know where all the bones are. We're going to know where all the muscles are. And they, they even tell you, like, hints of how to draw the shapes and stuff. So when you know all the joints and how they fit together, we're going to be able to do movement pictures and stuff. So my critique is, is mm, I mean, they're not really bad drawings. They're just drawings. I was just practicing drawing my face. It's like we're putting in, you got to put in the time. Like, it's going to take time to learn how to do this stuff. So... That's what we're doing together. It's an hour long video, so I guess that's it. Um I love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um check me out on Instagram and uh yeah, I mean again the the reason I started these was because I want to get better at figure drawing. And the the best way to learn how to do something is by you know teaching um so I'm, I'm learning and teaching at the same time so i hope you guys help me build a community like res give me a response give me give me something you don't have to give me your life story but like give me a, f a vase drawing give me give me um some pure contour drawing like show me your work like do i have to start paying you guys because maybe i'll do it i maybe i'll pay you guys to to draw for me yep I would love to do that. Um, I would love to pay people to draw for me. So, yeah, I got to teach you how first. Um, I'm going to focus on teaching kids how to draw, too. So, yeah. Um, got a whole box of chalk. Lots and lots of chalk. Okay, that's it. I'm signing out. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and we'll do another video. Same thing. Um, we're going to go over the five skills on how to learn how to draw, and then we're also going to... Uh, practice shifting our brain and the more you draw the easier it will be to shift from left to right and um, some people can naturally do it as kids they just figure it out some people you know anyone can do it um, just give yourself um, time and patience in fact the more time the better like the slower you draw the the better um, Generally, I don't know. The opposite's true with gesture drawings is the faster the better. So, you know, just uh, have fun. <laughs> we can do some upside down drawings at some point too. I think that's going to be good because that's like an actual fun exercise for people. Um, so yeah, hit me up. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, kiss, kiss, kiss. Bye bye. I don't know. You like my broken Santa? <laughs> I broke it, my makeup, and my butterflies. Okay, I'm rambling. Bye. <laughs>